Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Captain of Industry. Just between episodes, I've been trying to get our tree harvester back in action. And it desperately, desperately, desperately wants to make its way to this um, fuel station. Now the reason it can't is I have belts kind of in the way. There's really no way for this guy to get through. What I could do <clears throat> is set up um, ramps and run some belts underneath the ramps. I'm not keen to do that just yet. I just... Uh, I'm not crazy about the ramps. Eventually we're going to have them, but uh, I'm not crazy about them, so I don't want to do them just yet. So I recovered the vehicle, spent some immunity, recovered it back to this station, hoping that it would get refueled by the fuel trucks, because we have some just waiting to fuel people. And if we look at the fuel station pop up here, it does say it will refuel excavators and tree harvesters. But this tree harvester just has it absolutely set in its mind that it wants to go to that fuel station. Um, I could try putting a fuel station over here and running fuel and all that kind of stuff. I think I'm just going to get rid of this guy. Let's deconstruct this guy, scrap him. And then in this same um, vehicle depot, let's get another tree harvester built. So that'll get scrapped. We'll get a new one, and then there are a few trees left within range that can be cut down. The harvester was also saying it had no trees to cut down, but we have plenty selected. So I think it may have been a tiny bit glitched. Um, or it could be something I'm doing wrong, but, but it definitely wants us to have the ramps and not you know be blocked by conveyor belts. Eventually we'll solve that problem. It's just not an urgent task, I don't think, for me. So let's see how we're doing. We're trying to get some more crude brought in. We're down to three available workers. It looks like a batch of crude has arrived and has it made its way into processing. Boy, I don't see a big pile of diesel over here. What did you bring back? Let's go look at the offshore oil rig. See how that's going. We have three shifts. Well, he must have brought something back. I believe that is lower than it was. We are fully allocated on that rig to bring in crude oil. Um, hmm. Where is it? Did it go into these tanks way out here <laughs> and fell up this or something? Perhaps I was expecting to see like a lot more crude oil come in from that, that trip. Hmm. We could... <clears throat> what could we do? We could try and upgrade the oil rig. Let's take a look and see. That's going to take 200 construction part twos, and we have nine. We are starting to accumulate them again after putting down a bunch of upgraded pipes. Oh, he's actually going off to do it. Let's reduce the ship speed now and save fuel. Strictly because I don't think the rig even has enough to fill up this guy, but maybe. Yeah, he only needs 880 to fill up. That's as big as he is right now. 880, and this has, yeah, more than 880. That's why he went off. So yeah, we'll need to upgrade, upgrade our cargo ship for sure. How's water doing over here? It's not looking great. Food, oddly enough, is not looking great. So we're down to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six storages, six and a half, right? But this is not increasing, so I'm a little concerned. I was looking at this before the last episode, and this little pop-up here says, what's the amount, the amount of extra fertility needed on average in order to reach the target fertility level? This extra fertility needs to be supplied with fertilizer. So I believe that's telling me it needs 0% more fertility. So our current crop rotation should be good on all of these. We're at only 81% fertility. It would seem that we're only going to get 80% of the crop that way, but I think it's telling us we're actually okay here. We have flattened out this area. What level are we actually on here? 
Uh, let's just take a look. We're at plus three. I'd love to go down another level, but we'll probably stay at plus three. That would be a lot of work. We might be able to put another farm, a farm or two here. Hmm. I'm thinking we probably should. We're done mining the dirt. This could all go. And are we going to be in trouble with dirt? Or not? Um, these guys are producing dirt and coal. Although there's not much dirt here. Coal is totally backed up. Oh man, so much to do. Let's uh, add some coal storage over here. Maybe that'll be a temporary fix. Because um, as they mine that coal resource and terraform that area, we'll get some dirt out of that. So how do we want to do this? How do we want to stack this up? Let's do... So we'll make these all coal. Boom. Belt that in. Okay, that'll fill all these boilers up. And then we're gonna do serpentine on this as well. Let's do it. These, what do these take? Just regular construction parts, right? We should be, well, we're a little starved out. I'm building a lot of big things all at once. Okay. That'll do it. And let's set these to coal. This time, no truck import export since we're in the middle. Okay, that's all good. That's going to take a while to get constructed. Um, thinking about soil, are we be going to be in huge trouble when we run out of bricks and we run out of dirt? Our big dirt mound is fully mined out. We're probably going to put a farm or two here. Um, we can trade for something, right? Dirt, I think we can get... Can we get dirt if we wanted dirt? Or do I need to start getting real serious about dirt? Yeah, shoot. Well, I can trade for bricks. Okay, we're going to run out of construction parts if I can't find a way to mine some more dirt. Bummer. We could have our terraforming crew change tactics a bit. And just take off this top layer of dirt first. That would buy us some time. Okay, we're getting some rain. That's all good. Don't mind that at all. And then we could add just a bunch of storage for dirt here if we want. And stick with bricks for a while until we can get through to that limestone. Thinking that may be a plan of attack. Let's do it. Let's do it. How are we going to choose to get up here and mine dirt, and mine dirt, dirt mine. Okay. That's our coal guys. And this is our terraforming crew. They have been tapping into coal. So their trucks are backed up. Although, yeah, this guy's got some dirt on him. So does this guy actually. I think we're going to set up a new area. A new mining designation up here. We won't affect, we'll try not to affect the ramp. Oops. And we want to go down, I think, I'm going to guess. It's hard to know, right? Like this looks like, oh, it's all rock up to the surface. And then this landslidey area looks like, oh, it's all dirt. 
<clears throat> I think we can try to go down two levels. Let's do it. Uh, let's build a big ramp here. Go down to level eight. We can certainly start with that. And let's see if that ends up being mostly dirt for us. So we'll change the area over to here. Boom. Um, I can clear out all of these old designations. Or a bunch of them. We'll leave the ones that are still valid. Then these guys are still doing their thing nice and deep. Uh, we talked about trying to get a ramp going here too. Hmm. Hey, should we have a designation that takes this level down? They can still get to this fill area and put them on that instead. That's another option. Let's do a mining designation for it and then we'll think about it. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. We would want to ramp down. Here. Something like that. And then go level one all the way through here. Pretty much all the way, right? Oops, that's ramp. I don't want ramp. I want flat. And I want you to start here and take me out. That. That might be a better start. That might be a better place to start. Let's do that instead. Okay, escape out of this. And let's set this crew over here for now. All right. We only have the ability to get five more vehicles. Hmm, I don't like that. Maintenance is holding up pretty good. I'm happy about that. Wood is in dire need. Did we get our little excavator guy back, our tree harvester? Yeah. Okay, let's get some trucks assigned to this guy. It looks like kind of rebuilding that solved the problem. But we are real short on wood, so we're going to send our main ship out to here to load cargo and bring that wood for us. It's not really a cargo vessel, but we're going to use it as such until we can uh until we can get another cargo dock placed probably over here then we could bring in the wood hmm we have another yeah we need steel production before we can fix that other ship right maybe we can trade for steel in the short term or no he just wants iron all right so what we're going to do, we're going to bring wood in with our kind of flagship. He'll go out to the sawmill, load up with as much wood as he can, bring that back to base. Then we'll go fix the damaged cargo ship. And then hopefully we can set up cargo transports to bring in um, wood. And let's see if we can do cargo depot somewhere over here. I don't. I kind of want to pack them in if I can, but probably not going to be able to do much outside of this area, right? Probably It's probably going to have to be here. Are we too high up? Are we going to have to terraform to make this happen? Okay, that looks, oh, train too low. Okay, they're making it challenging for sure. Train too low. Or are they gonna make me terraform? We could just dig out a chunk and fill this in. Sure seems like it should take, but they have made this tough on purpose, I would submit. 
Yeah, it looks like we're not going to have luck here on this side. Oh, come on. I want to bring wood in so we can solve that issue for the long term. Guessing we may have to terraform this. Basically, fill this all to one level, I think, would do it. So let's just get on it. Let's get on it. Let's do a fill. Um, level three, flat, dump area. And let's do it. We'll try not to get too clever. Just want to flatten this area out. Okay. Then all of this goes bye-bye. And now I need to dig from somewhere. Uh, to do this, to get fill. Um, where should we chew from? Maybe a little tricky. Maybe right next door. Let's uh, get a mining designation. Ramp this down. Boom. To level one. And hopefully we can get some dirt, some something out of that. Um, I do have trucks sitting here waiting to help. It's hard to throw away the dirt, right? <laughs> We're going to have to use the try and use the dirt. Oh, man. Uh, how are we doing on construction part ones? Look at see our dirt supplies. Not good. These guys should be bringing in some dirt for us though. Coal excavators are sitting idle. They don't have much to do. This stuff is waiting on construction parts, which is a little concerning, right? Because that means more brick usage. Let's see how our ship's doing. Okay, this guy is loaded with wood. Let's, uh, we'll take that batch and head on back. Then we'll go replace the cargo ship. So right now, our coal power project is on hold. And we're looking to solve our wood problem. We're about to run out of trees. And that's going to be an issue for us. It looks like we have power problems too, all of a sudden. What's going on? Ooh, we're out of, um, we're out of diesel. <laughs> we're out of diesel. Oh, man. We're short workers at the refinery. Short workers. Okay, let's go to... We're going to go to the sawmill. Take that down. That'll solve most of our worker shortage. We're still short, we're still short one worker. Um, we can turn off something. Maybe I can turn off this diesel generator. Boom. Okay, we're okay on workers. Everything is now powered back up. Our oil truck went out to get oil. These guys are working on terraforming the land so we can... Um, oh, and some trash is getting dumped here. That's fine. We're going to try to get a platform here where we can put the cargo depot. So we can eventually bring in wood with a cargo ship. Our ship is making its way back with a bunch of wood. That should refill our, our little wood item storages and probably fill up the dock with wood as well. Vehicle parts. Hmm, do I have storage for vehicle parts? I do. Yeah, we're loaded on vehicle parts. That's fine. I need an awesome sink where I can dump them and get research points. <laughs> like in Satisfactory. Water's not looking as good as I would like. We have the pump running. Right? This guy's chugging away. We might want to fire up the other pump. The challenge is workers, right? 
And I can bring in more workers, but then I'm getting a little worried about our food situation. What could we turn down? Yeah, we already have like a lot of stuff turned off. Oh man, how are we doing on rubber? Yeah, these are turned off. So I can't get workers from here. Do I have any workers that we don't need over here? No. Everybody's being used. They're utilized. Captain's office. Yeah, we have the edicts going. Look at that. 20 workers for the captain's office. Oh, man. We could shut that off and get a ton of workers. Let's do it. Let's pause the edicts. That'll get us 21 workers. It'll also um, give a little boost to our food. The unity is going to go down by one, but we're okay on unity. That might be a good way to harvest some workers here. These guys are starting to get dirt. Well, that's going to be a slow process. Um, we have now a surplus of workers. Let's, it's only eight for the research lab. That's going to chew up unity, but let's do it. Let's get a jump on research. We have all this lab equipment waiting to get processed and we can always turn that lab off. And then we should probably, can we get a couple of these turned on? Let's do that. That'll get our construction parts going. We do still have quite a bit of bricks on the belt. So that will help. Or that's rubber up top there. Where's the bricks? Down here, yeah. Okay. For now. Once these get filled, I'd like to add more storage for dirt. And then hopefully this guy will tap into some stone so we can get this filled out and leveled so we can put a cargo dock on here somehow. Yeah, he's starting to get a little bit of stone. That'll help, and then we can maybe extend his dig area or something. Iron's looking good. Everything else is looking pretty good. Yeah, our unity now is still in the positive, but just... Barely, but we're doing some extra research. Okay, is our ship back? It is. This guy's got a ton of wood to unload. Um, let's, I guess we should let that run for a little bit. Till we get these filled up. Yeah, the first one's filled up. We'll let the ship unload for a little bit, and then we're going to go repair the other cargo ship. We have the, should have all the stuff ready. Damaged cargo ship. Okay, all required cargo is loaded for the damaged cargo ship for this one. We have two, I guess we can repair, but one is ready. Not unload cargo, the shipyard's full. Okay, we're gonna wait a little bit for more of this wood to be hauled out of here. These guys are quickly taking it out. 20 per truck, eventually we'll get bigger trucks. But they're doing their level best to help. A little nervous about building. Look at our water supplies. These are, should not be running. Let's turn them off. Groundwater pumps. That'll free up four more workers. I didn't know I had those on. We have tons of water here. We're going to run that over to the boiler. But right now I'm kind of focused on the wood, the wood situation. And then worst case scenario, if we run out of bricks, what can we do about it? We have a recipe here for concrete slabs. So we basically basically shut this belt off and maybe put storage for bricks here and feed this belt with brick with uh, the concrete bricks instead and in a pinch we could get the bricks through trade Let's see what that's going to be it's going to be ugly though as far as the cost to do that uh, let's see contracts 
Interesting. Not you, but you can get us concrete if we trade it for wood. So yeah, we, oh man, but boy, it takes unity to do it. So that's not going to get us by really. We really need to get to the limestone or find a good solution for dirt. Oh man. I think we'll be all right because we can mine off the top layer of all this dirt. That's a ton. That would get us by for a pretty long time. Not to mention this dirt that they're kind of mining up now. Not sure how deep they are right now. Can we just tell? They're getting down to one above sea level. And that's where we're at here, right? This is all one above sea. Yeah, okay. Maintenance still looks good, which is amazing. Happy about that. How are we doing on loading up the wood, fellas? Need a bit more. A few more loads here, and they're probably going to be good. What do we need? Um, 120. So what, six more truckloads full? The dock has a ton. Let's go send the ship out to repair that vessel. I think it's this one is ready, right? This one wants steel. This one's happy with just the iron. So let's send the ship out, repair that. Getting some ugly trash here. We're going to be building on top of I'm not crazy about that. Maybe we can clean that up later, make it look better. But we're trying to fill here so we can get one of these cargo docks placed. It's just not going to let me do it yet. Train too low. Yeah, we just need to fill this area and I think it'll work. We have one excavator. It's really all I want to put on this task. All right, smart conveyor routing is done. Dismiss. Let's pick new research now that we have the two research labs going. Um, let's do, let's get biofuel going. And what else? Wheat farming storage level two. That might not be a, uh, it's not urgent. Maintenance depot two. What does that get us? Is that more effective? Converts products into maintenance. Okay. Mechanical parts plus electronics. I'm guessing this is a more effective recipe or something. Let's add that. And then let's do deconstruction efficiency. Let's do that, right? I'm going to be tearing down a lot of stuff. It'd be nice to save some of those materials. And then vehicles management. We need more vehicles. That seems reasonable. Let's check the food supply again. I think we were six things. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're not, we're not accumulating food like I thought we would. They all have water now. Full water tanks, irrigation tanks. This water is still not filling up, which is kind of causing me a little bit of concern. We do have nine workers and plenty of power. Let's get a jump on it. We can always turn these off later. Get these two guys pumping. We could always add more pumps too. I'd like to see these all full. I think they're set. They're okay, right? Yeah, they're getting the water. It's just all being used up by the farms and our brick production. Dirt's still a little scary. These are producing 100% dirt. So they'll make up for the one that's missing. In fact, they're waiting on a truck. Should we add a truck to this effort? And maybe take one off of the coal do we still have coal trucks backed up doesn't look like it they may be starting to fill up this mess yeah all right let's um that's you let's add a truck to these guys 
because they're hauling dirt pretty far. I want them to keep working nonstop. Copper, let's go check the copper mine. It's been a while since we've been over here. Limestone. Limestone is really this bridge, right? Take a look at the map. Which one's limestone? Um, is it this? Can't tell. That's got to be limestone, right? Yeah, and all this is limestone too. I think this is limestone with some iron underneath it. Limestone on the surface, and then limestone here if we dig. So we're working on this land bridge too. There's actually a little limestone uh, on the surface here. I think it's this little nugget. Let's check our fill designations. This guy, which is not as important. Let's pull this back one. Want to do it, but I'd rather have them kind of going over here. And then this one is kind of important. It's bigger than it needs to be. Let's, um, let's minimize this for now. And then we obviously have the one down here we want filled, but it's far away from everybody. These guys are doing their thing. We're getting a little bit of dirt and we're getting rock that we can use to fill this area. Let's check this fill area. Can we trim it back? Let's trim this one back by one and see if that's enough to allow us to put the cargo dock down. Try to optimize that a little bit. Workers are fine. Diesel is okay. It looks like it's maybe trying to recover. We have this guy set to slow speed. He's about to go out. There's 788. Once it gets to 880, then uh, our cargo ship will go out and do it. Boy, we're burning. It seems like we're burning through it fast, too. This guy needs coal storage somewhere. Let's do at least a couple hoppers. How do we want to do this? These backwards. Yep, my bad. Hard for me to see those arrows. Need to pay closer attention when I place them down. So I want you to be the other direction. These guys are pumping away. Uh, is this guy complaining? Do we have little pipe segments to upgrade or something? Let's see. That can go, that can go, that can go. Okay, there goes our oil, our oil cargo ship. Yeah, I was really thinking that that would um, start filling up. 
we don't have a lot of oil, I mean, fuel consumption. I guess it's just the trucks, right? Man, we don't even have rubber turned on at the moment. We probably should. Do I have the workers for it? I don't. I am going to turn them on and I'm going to take down one of our, um, take down one of our research labs for now. Boom. Unity is running a tiny bit negative. Yeah, that's just going to take a while. Well, the dirt situation, it's okay. It's not great. Uh, how are we doing on construction parts? Not good. We're in a little bit of a instable or unstable scenario here. You guys, at least you guys have plenty of wood. We have plenty of wood on the island. This water supply looks great. With the diesel, I guess we could start trying to get this hooked up. We switched over to coal power. Um, that might increase our diesel production or our diesel, uh, conserve our diesel that we have on the island. Okay, what do we need <clears throat> for these guys? Turbines. We're going to have almost 200. Yeah, almost 200 high pressure steam coming out of here on a pipe and then these guys can each take 24 so what could we do I think it's just the turbine and then the power generator oh and we don't have the those little battery guys yet do we let's look at the tech tree not that tech tree this tech tree power storage where might that be I'm talking about those um Big spinning wheels, not the generator, but the one that stores that energy here. Mechanical power storage. Uh, let's see, where is the tech tree stuff? We want this kind of soon. Let's take off. Okay, biofuel's underway. What's number two? Maintenance Depot two. Let's take that off for now. We move from the queue. We move from the queue. I really want the this mechanical power storage. What's left? Okay, will this be two if I select you? Yeah, that's what I want. We can build without it. So we're gonna have high pressure turbines. These guys kick out low pressure steam. And I need two for every one of those, right? So four off on this side. Watch me, I'll show you how this goes. Okay. Four off of this side. I think these can actually snap together. One, two, and then maybe I can... Flip this. Uh, rotate. So those guys can join up. I'm going to pause for a second while we build this out. Leave three spaces. So it can be you and you connected up. And now the that's our high pressure steam coming in. The low pressure steam coming out. We can't do anything with it now, I don't think. But eventually we'll be able to do something with that. This guy will take 60. These guys kick out 24 each. So they can share a smokestack.
collision. Yeah, I can't quite squeeze it in that tight. Um, we could do this. Let's see if we can do it this way because eventually we are going to make use of this, uh, this stuff. And these pipes do 60. That's all we need. Let's use the little pipes for this. That's low pressure steam venting out. Gonna be same thing over here. Okay, we're there's a chance this is gonna be in the way. Um, let's see what the next component is that we need for this. It's the generator, right? So yeah, we may oh you shouldn't allow that. Yeah, you won't. Okay, we need to move that. That's all right. That's why I have a pause. That smokestack can just... Um, maybe here for now? And then... Let's see, the power generation, what do you take? You take 500. Okay, converts mechanical power to electricity. The slower it spins, the lower its efficiency is. 500 kilowatts gets you 300 kilowatts of energy. These guys are gonna kick out a megawatt each. So two for each of those. So four of these coming off, right? Four of these power generators. And this is where we got to get the arrow straight or we'll be in trouble. Bam, I think, right? One, two, three, four. I think that is what we want. Let's get the high pressure steam in here. And then we need to get the water figured out too. High pressure steam. Um, this is gonna need the big pipe. And that take. I don't think that's actually hooked up. Okay, those are all hooked up. Uh, let's mirror image the sky. We're going to have power for days. If, if we have the building materials, is this going to take steel or something? No. Construction part twos and electronics. That we have. Construction part twos we have. Yeah. Whew. Thank goodness. Little panic there. Um... Let's get these piped in and we can start with this whole array. We don't have to power this all up. We can start with like two. Uh, this guy is going to be sending steam into the pipe. Okay. And then let's take care of this stuff, we need to get the exhaust out of here. Smokestack. That's, let's see if I'm too close to being able to have these pipes be happy with me. Okay, I'm trying to cancel out. Okay, I'm not sure what it's doing, but it doesn't like it. Let me pull this back a hair. Okay, you to you, now you're happy. And you to you, you should be fine with this. Invalid connection. Uh, I disagree because it's working right here. 
could be a certain order I need to do these. Okay, let's chew this back. Um, let's, I have an idea. I do it the way I did it before. Oh, that thing wasn't in our way before. Hmm. Right, the way I got this built. That comes out. Should work. It's not going to work. I think I need to temporarily take this out, believe it or not. Oh, no, am I too close? What is the issue? How am I different than what's going on over on this side? Thought last time I just ran this pipe on by. So, R, R. I was able to keep it going. Okay. All right. If at first you don't succeed, try 30 more times. Okay, that finally worked. Uh, do we have center click copy? Yeah, we have copy like this. Okay, that'll take. Finally, oh man, that was a little bit of a struggle, I'd say, but that's cool. Then we'll put in the things that I just queued up for the research. What the heck are those called? Um, flywheels, yes, 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 yes. Flywheels, Research Lab 2, what do these take? Okay, good, just construction part twos and iron. Okay, we can unpause. Once this is all built, and it'll take a bit to get it built, that will actually save us some diesel and we can maybe shut off the diesel generators. But again, it's gonna take a bit for all this to be constructed. In fact, we could probably pause some of these. These aren't really urgent. We'll get one side and then we have the ability to um, do the other side. So we're only going to need two of these for this setup, I believe. But it is going to take a while. That's a lot of parts. What's going on over here? Do we have a repaired ship now? There was probably a message telling us that we do. Okay, the dock is loaded with wood. Let's send the ship out to go fight and then we'll uh, we'll call it an episode. Yeah, let's clear some pirates. That's going to be an easy one. And yeah, we'll stop the episode here. Uh, hopefully our diesel will actually bounce back. I'm kind of a little surprised that we don't have abundant diesel here. I'm kind of shocked, actually. But um, yeah, unless, we're, unless I have some pipe kind of sending it off into the water or something, sending our diesel into the ocean. Kind of bad pipe hookup. It seems like we should... We should have more diesel by now. But we'll see. Here comes our ship. I'll keep an eye on this between episodes. But yeah, for now, this is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Captain of Industry, awesome game. We have a lot more to do. Our biggest concerns right now are getting to that limestone. Uh, we're close, but we're not that close. We need this to get filled up, like post-haste. And then I'm a little worried about um, the dirt. And those two things are related. If we run out of dirt and we don't have limestone production up, it's going to be very hard to get um, construction parts built. So we are mining some dirt and we have a lot of dirt we can mine. We can mine off, so we'll, we'll make it work. But we'd like to get that set up. And then we'd also, because we're running out of trees to cut down, we want to get a cargo depot set up over here and a new ship running to bring wood from the sawmill. But we'll get to that next episode for now. Sclattercat saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to those of you who have given the videos a thumbs up. I appreciate that, and I will see you all in the next one.